All right, welcome back, graphics students. Uh, this is GE 115, your Tuesday lecture of the second week. Uh, I'm going to go back over a few things we covered on day one, because it's always a little crazy on day one, go a little slower. And uh, also introduce a couple more drawing strategies and your next lab. So there we go. Um, you can see on screen, I got AutoCAD going. I don't know if you can see this, but that's just the Zoom thing. So um, let me go back over what we covered. Uh, basic drawing strategies. Uh, I'll get something on screen here before I talk about Zooming again and those kind of things. There's other ways to Zoom too. I'll cover those. Um, line command is here in your tool palettes. Uh, save buttons are here. We went all over that. You can see I have not done a save because it says drawing one. So I should do that right away. So I'm gonna hit the save as button and I'm just gonna put it onto the desktop and we'll call it uh, L-E-C-T lecture two, D-E-115. And this will also be lab two, so. I'll kind of talk about that and show it to you. All right. So we talked about uh, aim and shoot as a drawing strategy. So I'll do that. Um, I'm going to click the line command. I'll tell you what I'm doing because you can't see my hand or the pick button. Uh, the pick button is the left button on the mouse. And then the roller mouse is the roller mouse. It's the roller part is the roller. And if you push the roller down uh, like a button, you will get pans. So let me get something on screen. I'll get a two inch by two inch. So I'm just aiming, not clicking anything and typing in two. And you can see where the two is going in. It's going in the length, right? So I'll zoom in a little bit, aim down. You can see the length is highlighted. As I move around, you'll see the length of the line is highlighted, which means you just type two. And then you always have to hit enter to let it know you're done and then escape to get out of a command. So there's my two by two box that we drew in class and the roller mouse will zoom it. If I'm on top of it, it stays in position. If I'm over here, it kind of goes to the right. And if I'm to the right, it's going to go to the left. All right, great. And then roller mouse down like a button or the roller Roller button down like a button <clears throat> and you can pan. Okay. So that was the aim and shoot method. That works great um, unless you're gonna shoot at an angle. So if I'm gonna draw at an angle, actually before I do angles, let's just do another way to, to do this kind of drawing. AutoCAD works off of the Cartesian coordinates. So here's a little X and Y down here. Positive X is to the right. Uh, positive Y is up. So I can draw by coordinates also. And this is handy at times when you get in a drawing. Um, so I'll go and get the line command. I'll start my line. That's important. You have to start your line. Um, but then I can actually draw by coordinates. I can input a X and a Y coordinate. Now, if I just put in X and Y, let's say I want to go two to the right, that would be two in the X, comma, and you'll see that it changes. As soon as I hit the comma, it goes to like a X and Y input. So I have two in for X and I'm going to put zero in for Y. So it should go zero up, but there's a problem. Actually, it did it great. So that problem is resolved. <laughs> um, so then, so the mouse can be anywhere if I do this system, right? So now I want to go up in the Y direction, two units. So that means I don't want to move any in the X. So I put in zero and then hit comma, right? And now it's like, oh, it's just not sure what to do. But then I'm going to put in for the Y, I'm going to put in two and hit enter. It's going to go up. So notice that those coordinates are relative to your last point. So it's relative to here. 
So when I put in my coordinates, again, the mouse can be anywhere. I'll put in negative two because I want it to go to the left, comma. Notice that it's trying to figure it out. Uh, and then zero for the Y. And it should go to the left. And it did. Okay. So this is called coordinate input. Now I want to go down. That's a negative Y direction. So I would put in zero comma negative two. Right, zero for the X, don't want to move in the X, and minus two, boom. Okay, so that's a coordinate drawing system. You can do coordinates anytime you need to. It's like, if I needed a line coming off of here at a 45 degree, I could use coordinates if I knew the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. You know, if I wanted to go uh, minus one, that would be minus one in the X, comma, and one up, that's positive. So it should go uh, left and up and make me a angled line. Well, that's cool, as long as I know those X and Ys. But if you don't know the X and Ys, how do we get just a angled line in? Maybe I know the length of the line and the angle. Well, that's, the, that's this dynamic input that you see on the cursor. Right, It's given me length right there. So if I put it in one, that's going to be the length. The key here is you don't hit enter. If you hit enter, it's going to aim and shoot at this odd angle. I don't even know what this angle is. It's like 25 degrees or something. right? But if I hit tab, it's going to tab to the angle. And then I could put in 45. So now that's going to be one inch at 45 degrees line, hook up, maybe I want to come off this at uh, three inches, and I want that angle to be not 19 degrees, but 20 degrees. So I hit tab, tab moves me over to the angle, and I can put in 20 degrees. So now that is a line that's three inches at 20 degrees. So that's actually called kind of dynamic input, that's, I think it's this button right here. Uh, object snap tracking. I think, oh no, maybe, nope, nope. That's, it's this one. Yeah. So if you turn that off, you won't get that opportunity. Like, oh no, it's still there. So that's not it. Yeah, it shows you like how good I am with these quick buttons. Dynamic input, dynamic input. That's here somewhere. Yeah, I don't see it. So I'd have to look that up, I guess. This is your polar tracking, right? That's the green line. So here, I'll show you that. So there's the green line. There's the green line. There's the green line. If you want more, you can go to the little triangle next to it. And you can set up different, like I can get it every five. So watch this. Every five degrees, I get a green line. Boom, boom, boom. So that's kind of handy. Um, if you know you got five degree increments. So that's polar tracking. 90 is the default. 90, 90, 90. All right. So good job. And the last thing I want to talk about is text, because I want you to start putting your name on your drawings. Uh, so when I pull them up, I see your name, right? So the lab you're going to do is this lab. Instead of boxes, you're going to do these triangles. They're equal lateral triangles, 60, 60, 60, all 60s inside. And then they're equal sides. So again, a two inch, a three inch, a five inch, and a four inch. So you're going to draw these up. And I want the outside border two, and I want them all to fit inside. And I want you to put your name on it. So I'm going to show you how to put text on a drawing. No dimensions yet. There's a bunch of stuff we need to do uh, to get to dimensioning. So not worried about that. But text is good. So text is this big A right here. And if you pull it down, there's two kinds, multi-line and single line. It's a little deceiving because you can actually get multi-line with single line. So I want you to use a single line for now. So it's going to 
if you mouse over a button and leave it there, it's going to explain a few things about that. So like if you're wondering, hey, how to run mirror, mouse over it. Come on. Huh. Maybe you got to click on it. I thought there was interactive. Maybe I'm thinking SolidWorks because SolidWorks is really good about that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Text is doing it. Maybe it's, eh, yeah, not doing it. Anyway, I want you to use single line text, right? So when you click single line text, it's gonna, again, it's communicating with you. It says specify the start point. So text is typically written left to right. And it's going to be the bottom of the first letter, the kind of the bottom left corner. You'll get the feel for it. But when you do that, you're going to click. That's where I want to place my text. And then it says specify the height. And I want 0.125. I want one eighth inch text. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to say rotation angle. That's if you want your text at some angle. Notice the default is zero. So you just hit enter. Now I get a cursor and I can write Donaldson. If I hit enter, I get a second line. So that's cool. I can write ET120 and I get a third line. I can write lab two triangles, right? And when you're done with single line text, I know it's multiple line, but anyway, when you're done with single line text, you hit enter twice, enter, enter, and it places it. Notice where the cursor is, that's the placement point. It's like the lower left of the first letter, okay? This is just an object, just like the rest of these objects. So I could do a move and you know put it anywhere I want to. These are just the move command, I put up here, over here, so anywhere you want, but get it on here, okay? When you're done, you're gonna obviously wanna hit save, have it all saved. And then you're gonna want to uh, export to PDF. So I'll go through that, export PDF. Notice I have it real big on the screen. That's helpful. Um, there are not many options with just regular export to PDF. I'll put it on the desktop, oops. Um, let's see if we can improve it at all. Uh, yeah, no, there's just no, it's going to do the, it's just going to do the view that we have. So until we get to layout, once we get to layout, I, I can show you the difference. Um, but it'll look better in layout. Okay. So I'll hit save. So that did it, that created it. It should be on the desktop. Um, oh, there I am again. Hi, everybody. Uh, lecture two right there, GE 115. If I two click on it, it should show it to me. Yeah, it's not delightful. I mean, it's not bad. This is a bad zoom of it, but uh, you know, if I blow it up, eh, it's okay. It's just a lot of blank space, but it's gonna work for us for now. Okay. All right, so that's it. Good luck with that. Um, let me know if you have any software install problems. Um, don't forget to post about that. Uh, so then I'll know that you all have the software and you're ready to rock and roll. All right. Hope you had a great weekend. This uh, be posted in the Tuesday category of week two.